um, okay now we have our data here um, so we have our data that we got out from ArcGIS now let's try to load the uh, data into Hecras so that we can use it so open your Hecras file <coughs> now before you start your 2D model make sure that you save it as a new project otherwise your things would not get um, saved or it doesn't work so I'm trying to do it in the same folder I'll create a new folder name it Hecras 2D and under that I'll create a new file called projection one project file one okay now uh, it says that start um, a file as this with us customer units uh, since we have everything in feet i think this should be fine so we press ok now the first thing we want to do is go into the ras mapper so this is the small button here um, now you want to load the terrain so that's where you start from uh, you right click on terrain create a new terrain it's it recommends that you give it a special reference system so yes we'd like to give it a special reference system and that actually explains where in the world um, the elevation data set is for so ESRI projection file you open this now you go into data where you saved your projection file so just to make sure there is something called a PRJ file um, inside HECRAS so HECRAS also specifies its saved files as PRG and ArcGIS saves projection file under PRG. So make sure that you distinguish between these two. And the one that we had saved from earlier was NAT 1983-2011 State Plain, Maryland. So anything um, with this will know where our DEM is. So we press this and press open. And if this gets populated, that means you're good to go. Um, so if this thing gets populated you're good to go so just press ok after that and then we'll get into the new terrain layer here uh, press the plus button that goes on here uh, now we have the DEM that's been saved as feet so we have DEM underscore feet that we saved from the previous video um, we just click ok and everything seems fine we press create so after a few seconds it says that creating terrain is complete so if we close this right click on it and zoom to layer you'll see that you'll get this mm, DM out here if you want to click on it you'll also see the units down here if you see something around 400 on this edge like which we were looking before it seems to be correct um, so this is one thing now if you want to know where this specific area is um, right click map layers add web imagery layer mm. go into google satellite here press ok now if you see this it goes on top of this you can um, open this up right click google satellite image display properties change it into 50 percent transparent click ok now you can see that this thing is mm, on the right area okay um, so your terrain has been loaded here um, now we can just cancel this and go into the geometric data view or edit geometric data if you click this you'll get the terrain right here sometimes you might want to get um, Google satellite so anything that you loaded into uh, RAS mapper gets loaded uh, gets populated here click Google satellite close you can see the satellite imagery as well but I don't think we need to that for now so we'll turn it off now from this you can actually provide a 2d flow area um, so there's a small button here called 2d flow area click on that and start delineating your um, area which you think requires um, has the flood plane on it so I think it would probably be okay with this much for now 
double click on it ask what do you name it 2d give it 2d flow area press ok now you after you created where the 2d flow area is you'd want to specify um, how many grid cells do you want to put in so you click on this and you get the uh, edit 2d flow area um, option select that um, then you see that um, there are different information about the um, 2d flow area you can go into generate computation points on a regular interval with all break lines click on this so you can put in a spacing that you find might be useful right now I'm going to put 25 feet by 25 feet and I press generate points in 2d flow area so you can try it out with different um, space uh, grid size spacing generate points in 2d flow area and you press ok then it gives then it has the grids inside it um, if you right click on it and zoom in you can see that there are grid points here right click pull plot so it takes you back up here now you want to provide uh, the boundary line conditions so there's something called SA 2d flow area boundary line conditions storage area click on that now first I want to give it an upstream boundary condition double click it here I'll give it upstream BC um, similarly I'd go down here and give it a downstream boundary condition so downstream BC press ok so you can see that this is upstream this is downstream and the flow area is done so go into file save geometric data and under the same thing I can put it as geom um, ok it's been saved cancel it um, now what you want to do is you want to give in the data for boundary conditions you go into so for go into this and you'll get this so I'll stop this tutorial for now because that's something um, you have done, done that I'll continue it for my um, next video